Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 18 in Expression 2 series where we're going to be covering timers. Now we don't need anything for this except for the print command. We like the print command, right? No, I'm joking. We need more than the print command. But anyway, let's get the in-game time since the server has started. And that's going to be the current time, which is 2,947 seconds. All right, so if we want to get the real time since the server has started, we get... 3400 seconds so just about so the difference between the real time and the cur time here is that the real time does not get affected by server lag whereas cur time does so this is going to give you a more reliable answer so let's then say we want to go to our favorite timer which is interval which we have an input here of a range of milliseconds so we're going to put thousand milliseconds which is equal to one second and let's make an if statement saying if click and what this click does is it checks is the execution of this expression to chip caused by this interval command so every one second is um, when this is going to be true and when that happens everything inside will be executed so if you want to make something specific to the interval command and part of your code then you can put all that part of your code in here and it'll greatly improve the performance of your expression to chip which is awesome so looking to the counterpart of interval we have run on tick and that can be either a 0 or a 1. Now that 1 will say that every tick of the server we want to execute the expression 2 chip. So let's say the counterpart here instead of click is called tick click. So it checks for every tick of the server if that causes the execution expression 2 chip then execute everything inside this if statement. So this is like a true or false statement just like click is. Okay. So what if you don't want to use runner tick or interval? Where, well, you can also result to timers, which the first argument here is a unique identifier. So we'll say example. And then the second part is going to be some number in milliseconds. So this is going to be 2,500 milliseconds or 2.5 seconds. And after that, we're going to have another if statement. So we're going to say if click, except we're going to put the identifier of the timer that we're checking for into here. So instead of interval, it'll now check for this specific timer and this specific timer only. And after 2.5 seconds, whatever happens in here, which we're going to print boom in chat, not boom, 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 like that. So let's see what happens. So one, two, and boom. All right. So actually something interesting happens. As you can see, there is three booms. Now there's four booms. And that's because every time this executes because of the timer it's triggering this command to happen again so it's causing a loop in a sense of every 2.5 seconds causing this timer to go on so there's a way to stop the timer though we can say stop timer and that's with a lowercase t so we'll put the timer that we want to stop which is example and so now it should only print boom once so you see four booms in chat three now you see four all right so after this, there will be no more boom. All right, the bomb has been diffused. Good. All right, so if we want to identify which timer is triggering this event, we can do that. So let's say that under print boom, we're going to also print get, uh, click name, which is the name of the timer. So let's do that. So it says example is the active timer that caused this triggering of the expression to chip and that's correct now what's interesting is we can also get a list of the timers as well so we can say get timers and this is going to return an array now before stop timer is actually stopping this timer we can actually get the list of active timers before stop timer removes this timer if that made sense so Anyway, let's go check out what I said, and okay, there we have example, and you see that in brackets indicating it's part of an array, so if we had more entries in that array, you'd get a longer list of names. So also as well, instead of stop timer here, we'll say stop all timers, kind of sounds like all timers instead of all timers. Anyway, so as you can see, it's going to work just the same as the stop timer command for the specific timer, timer excuse me example so anyway that's going to conclude everything you really need to know about timers um, they're pretty useful 
good for helping performance and stuff like that. And if you have any more questions, of course, leave some in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.